Hi, it's Chris. It's Halloween day, October 31st, uh, 1994, 2023. I want to give you guys an overview of Pymega 4. It's not available yet. It's not ready. I'm working on it. I'm close. I got Raspberry Pis here. We'll go over them in a second because I got to find the power supply. This is an Intel Nook. It's a standalone, whoops, little computer Intel i3, 5, whatever processor. I have a USB hub, and you'll see it's running Windows, right? Okay, that's Windows. It's, it's, it's Windows. It's on an internal hard drive thing. This is a 128 gig version of, um, yeah, Pymega for PCs. I'm going to plug in the, the, the network cable here, even though I don't need it, but I will need it for Pymega. Okay, so, as you can see, it's Windows, right? I'm going to shut this down the normal way. Just shut it down. Power, oh, update, just shut down and stuff it in its place. We're going to plug in this. No magic wizardry or editing, just all live. We're going to plug in this to a super speed speed port. This is a USB 3 device. It is off. I'm going to press the power button. I think it's F2 for this thing to select boot. It's UEFI, so you have to adjust your UEFI accordingly. Your boot, oops, that's not the right thing. Uh, what is boot? I don't know. Let's just... Intel Visual BIOS. Do you want to save change? No, I don't want to save changes. I don't forget which one it is. F3? F something? F1? F1? I don't know. We'll see. I'll miss it. Or it should boot because I plugged it in and UEFI will detect it. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, it just detected it. You're going to see a grub loader here. Just press enter. It will load Linux. You'll see the Debian swirl here. Remember, we were just on Windows. We're running from this. You're thinking, oh no, this is only going to work on Chris's hardware because that's what happened last time. Nope. I fixed that and I tested it on several machines. I even tested it on my other computer down here or this one over here to show you that she works. This is an Intel. These are HPs. So right now it's Pi, Pi, Amiga. I got to get the auto login going. But this part works. I'm going to turn on my audio. Now I've hidden the boot screens because they are a special surprise for Pi Mega 4. You think, oh my god, it looks so much like Pi Mega 3. And it pretty much is Pi Mega 3. I think this is an old version. Now I have sound turned on. You see, I, you heard sound, right? How did it have the drivers for this audio system and in this one or the one down below or whatever? Like what? Uh, let's just Go right in and play a music mod. Let's find something better. I like Elysium. H E F Elysium. Oh my god. This. Audio over HDMI. Cool. So I had it in a splitter, HDMI splitter, looks like, yeah, uh, like one of these things. I press a button, goes HD, you know, one output, multiple ins, Pi, computer, couldn't get audio because the splitter doesn't support audio pass through, it was only video. So plug in an indirect, I got audio on Pi or this, hey, what happened to Universal Boot? I'm getting there. I have a wonderful Discord person I met, and they are like a master Linux programming super robotics expert, and they're working on helping me with the solution. Really, really close. But for now, this is just an update, a quick update, to show you that this is working. What about uh, Chrome? Again, single click, host run, because this is running on Debian, Bookworm 12, Debian 12, this just works. Why is it not pulling everything through? Probably because I forgot to put Chrome on this. Let's try a... Uh, I think it's Firefox. I'm not done. I got a couple of these images floating around. Oh, this is the other one. Okay. 
So that's my other one working. So this is a uh, Firefox. You see it runs right through. You can see I am not finished. We have the, the pop out bar. That's great. F12 and quit. You're thinking, oh wow, that's cool. What do we got new here? Well, you're going to see some additional icons here. Oh, what is that? Pi Omega 4, AGS, Amiga Vision, and what is that on the bottom? Amiga Live? <gasps> what is that? Amiga Live allows you to launch it here. It uh, runs off a little FSUAE launcher. You've got a little window, and I think it's signed in as me. i got to fix that. And... Uh, you can play multiplayer Amiga games or any Amiga game over the internet with other people playing Amiga stuff. Isn't that cool? I didn't make this. It's just add-ons. We got the... Uh... I'm waiting for it to load, so I'm just pausing here. Okay. Games list box, waiting for players to join. Uh, yep, yeah, it's logged in as me. So, it's only a beta version for the Linux side. Basically, you pick a game out of the list. There's like a bunch. If I wanted to play, I don't know, Worms. And I would just say start, auto join the game, whatever. I'm not playing offline. Players, number of players, you can have up to eight players on certain things. And you just launch it and it just works. Controller, keyboard, you can set up your keyboard and do it. Oops, there's my kickstart screen because I didn't choose the right thing. Yep, okay. So. That's that. Amiga Game Selector. We all know Amiga Game Selector. That's Mr. Paul Vince. I asked him if he wanted to toss this in here, but he has his own kind of Amberry based thing. So this is the October 9th, 2023, or is it 9th of, 10th of 9? Anyway. That's what I am a very. Also, Amiga Vision. Amiga Vision is the 2023 version of Mega AGS. And there you go. It just works. Just pick something. I don't know. See that. Okay. And it just works. It works great. The only stinker is with Pi Mega 4. F12 quit. When you run Pi Mega 4, you'll see I am currently at. Uh, well, it's a 4 gigahertz processor, but it's in power safe mode. But right now, if I launch Pi Mega 4, this will jump up to major gigahertzes. The Pi Mega side is a little slower. Why? There is no JIT enabled on this version on Intel. Does it work okay? Yeah, it works pretty well once it's booted. You're going to see a big difference in the Raspberry Pi 4, and then I'll show you the Raspberry Pi 5 when I get it. Um, so let's just do an eye demo. One of my favorites here. Let's just go to my favorites because I have my favorites in here. Uh, when we ride on our enemies, Nine Fingers 242, Crazy Sexy Cool, A Sensation, Eon, The Black Lotus. Just became WHD loadable, available. There's a lot of new things on here. All the Revision 2023 demos. A lot of new stuff on Pi Mega 4. Then we'll show you the speed comparison on the Raspberry Pi 5. Now this works fine, this will play all the way through. This is Eon by TBL or the Black Lotus, one of my all time favorite demo groups. But you can see sound works, the demo works, it runs beautiful. So demos work. Um, also the revision 2023 folder, when we have like Sojourn of the Soul, right? run it. It's a 6840 emulated of course and with Pi Mega 4 this loads like that on the Raspberry Pi but on the PC since there's no JIT it's a little bit slower. It does still have the horsepower behind it so don't worry about just because your graphical speed is not super duper fast you're gonna have issues you're gonna see it's still loading the light is going like crazy on my little thumb drive if you can even can't probably see that but again this is a booting operating system on any Intel AMD 
platform. Can't get the Mac silicone working. They keep switching security around and it's not friendly. But Intel AMD architecture UEFI capable systems. If you have a computer that's from 2001 that has a USB 1.0 port and you want to run Pymega in Belarus, it's not going to happen because it's not meant for that system. UEFI capable machines. This is a EXT4 disk. There's no FAT32. You have to copy your kickstart stuff. Once you're booted into Linux, you'll get an error about ROM missing. You just press F12 and you can use this as a normal computer because it is a normal computer. Why is this taking so long to run this demo? No JIT. Will it show up? Eventually. It's a massive demo and this is how it actually loads on real hardware. You're thinking, this thing broke. It didn't. It's really there. See, it's still running. There you go. So, I'm going to quit it. So it literally, it even tells you, once this hits 100%, it's going to take a little while longer. So all the revision 2023s that I can get to work are on there. Uh, Neo Calora is on there. That's a really great demo. Dark Age and Lemon. Sound just works. And it sounds wonderful. 100% stereo separation, so it's just like Paula. They're all there. So that is Pi Mega 4 on Intel. And when you're done, F12, quit. Now I have to work out some bugs on shutdowns. It's up here in the top left. Your computer will shut down in 30 seconds. Not yet. Oh, now it's going to be nice and do it. So when this is done, you'll see this machine is turned off. I will take this disc out that's warm, and I will press this button again. This will return me to my native host operating system of Windows 10, and you will see the time should say 10, 12, 31st of October. This is no BS. This is going out today. You saw Intel Nook and Windows. I'll be right there. I will log in. And we're back to where we were with Windows updates to do. Which aren't there yet. So I'll shut that down. And now we're going to get into the Raspberry Pi 400. My Walmart mouse. Alright, let's see what happens. This is Raspberry Pi 400. Here is the disc for Pi Mega for Intel. Once again, it's all the same disc. I'm just having problems with the bootloader. Get out of here on mouse. We're using Raspberry Pi mouse. Okay. There we go. Again. Um, demos, we got the revision 2023. Now I'm going to do that same Sojourn of the Soul on this. And watch how faster-ish, how much faster this loads. It's already at 55 per 60, 70 percent as we're doing this. And this ain't no trickery, this is just what we got. Turned off a lot of the overhead lights so we don't have super glare. Now this screen set for at least 30 seconds on the Raspberry Pi, on the Intel device, just for JIT. If we can get JIT sorted, I'll tell you what, that's going to be far superior to any Raspberry Pi because the... And there you go, in half the time. This is a beautiful demo, Sojourn of the Soul, Revision 2023. I'm not going to spoil it, I'll let you guys watch that on your own. Okay, we'll do Neo Calora because I haven't finished loading all of them up yet. Instant load. You know, sound, everything, Raspberry Pi, HDMI audio, 100% stereo separation, it's the same thing. Secret part of boobs. Yeah. That's what's going on with Pi Mega 4. And of course we have um, Mega Vision, Amiga Game Selector. Now I haven't loaded the Amiga Live on the Pi version because there's a weird compile issue. It's hard to keep two distros going and it just it just doesn't happen. So this is out. I'm pulling the SD card out. It is sitting right here. I'm going to plug this directly in. There's no SD card in. Turn it off. Plug this into USB 3. Turn it back on. What happens? If the compiler is going to break because it's compiled for Intel right now. My bootloader is not detecting the CPU type. If I get the Debian 12 window, we'll see. But I'm not. I'm going to get a Raspberry Pi screw up because it can't find the right ELF. And it's looking for a fat volume. 
can't find it. Firmware not found. I have to get all the crap. Yeah. See? Can't find the ELF file. It's trying and trying and trying and trying and it's just broke. But it works on Intel. Totally fine. Now, that was that pie. Let's take this out. Unplug. 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 Put this card in. This is Raspberry Pi 400. Number one. Has a little one in the corner right there. It's so I can keep an eye on remembering which machine I worked on because I had a borked unit and uh, totally screwed myself up for over six months with bad crap and missing parts and it really set me back. This is dev unit number two or developer PyMega 4 number two. They're in different phases. Just want to know what's going on guys. Everybody's got eight million questions. When is it coming out? When is it coming out? Some of these got bootloader screens, some don't. Okay, this is the newest one because I changed the icon. All right. It's got the latest WHD load pack. I fixed a couple Quake icons and I fixed a couple game timings in there. Uh, the newest version of WHD loads on there. We up updated the Apple uh, shapeshifter items. So Intel or ARM Pi loads the um, Macintosh software. Everything works just fine. Sound, everything's great. Uh, the PC side, I'm having weird issues with Macintosh side networking. Once again, it doesn't need JIT for Shapeshifter. Special shutdown when you're done. F12 to quit, which is function F2 on a Raspberry Pi 400. I got some work to do on the Pi side, but as you can see, it's a lot of work just getting every little weird thing to work together. Um, for Pi Mega 4, I forgot to tell you. Uh, it's going to be about a 64 gig card this time just because we're packing the three other operating systems in their hall with them. For iGame 2023, we're looking at 4200 games. That should hold you over for a year, right? I don't know what we're going to do as far as future stuff, but... Raspberry Pi 5 is going to be on Debian 12 Bookworm, just like the Intel version. If I can get, when I get, if I can get the bootloader things all sorted, it's just going to be this disk. It's it's all on here. It's just this is the one I've been working on the disks on because it's easier to work on one and then just copy it up and I can just download it to the Pies. But this, well, the image that this came from is available for everyone, it will be. It may not make Christmas this year. I'm a busy guy. I repair Amigas and I work a full-time job and a lot of stress in this household. But I just want to give you guys a quick update for Halloween 2023 that Pi Amiga 4 is coming. Raspberry Pi 4, 400, 5, and Intel AMD computers. Thanks for hanging out with me for a very quick update video and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something. Uh, what do you know from funny, you bastard?